again and today we're gonna talk about subtraction in word problems guys before I begin my lesson don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and hit the like button later on and share this video to your loved ones okay anyway guys let's begin subtraction means you have to take away right for example I've got eight dogs in here I have given away two of them to my friends I took away two from eight. Let's write the subtraction sentence. Eight, which is my subtrahend, remember, the big number. And then you take away minus the symbol in subtraction. You take away two, and the answer is six, right? Okay, great. Now, may I just remind you how you will do subtraction. So there are many ways. First of all, you can draw or use counters. For example, how many are left if I take away one from four? So I'm gonna draw four circles and then I will cross out one from four. Four minus one equals three, right? Or I can also use a number line. Remember, you just have to jump backwards or I can directly use counting back. For example, seven minus four. We put seven in our head and four in our hands and we count back. Seven, six, five, four, three. And the last number that you've said is three. Good job. Or you can always add, guys. Remember, I've told you that addition and subtraction, they're friends. They're related to each other. So if I want to know the answer from 7 minus 4, hmm, see, I can find what completes 7 or what makes 7. We've got 4 already. So 4, 5, 6, 7. 3. So you just need 3, right? Now let's go straight to how you are going to solve subtraction in word problems. Remember, first of all, you have to read the problem. Just like addition, always read the problem. Let's go. James has five kites and he gave two away to Pete. How many kites does he have left? Second step, you have to find the given numbers. Okay, I can see two and five. Then after that, what do we do next? We have to find the question. In this word problem, we've already found the given numbers, which are two and five. The question goes like, how many kites does he have left? And now we have to find the keywords. So what are the keywords that we can see that will tell you, hmm, are you gonna do addition or subtraction? Let's have a short recap of words that tell you that you have to do addition. First, we've got all, together, in all, total, and sum. Next, on the other side of the screen, you will see the words that tell you have to do subtraction. First, left, next, how many more? Difference, take away, less than, and minus. So these are the words that will tell you you're gonna have to do subtraction. Going back to our word problem, finding the keyword. We've already found the given numbers. We've already underlined the question, which is how many kites does he have left? What could be the keyword? The keyword is left. So let's solve it. We can solve this word problem horizontally or vertically. Or you can draw um, some objects that will represent these kites. So I've got here five kites. I took away two. How many are left? Let's count. One, two, three. So three are left. Let's write the subtraction sentence. Five minus two equals three. Let's write it down vertically. Five 
minus 2 equals 3. And of course, we do not forget the complete answer. 5 minus 2, remember, equals 3. What is that 3 for? 3, that is for the kites because we're looking for kites, correct? And it's the same thing if you have written it in, you know, vertically. So 5 minus 2 equals 3. 3 kites. All right. So guys, it's time for us to practice. Let's practice. Grab your pencil and your paper. Pause this video if you need time. Practice number one. John has seven tubes and he gave three away to his mate. How many tubes does he have left? Seven and three. Good job. Find the question. How many tubes does he have left? And then the keyword, left. Wow, excellent. Let's use these tubes. You can always use counters if you like or draw. I will take away three out of seven tubes. How many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four is the answer. Let's write down the subtraction sentence. Seven minus three equals four. And don't forget to label your answer. Four tubes. Good job. Seven minus three equals four. And label it four tubes. Practice number two. Henry needs eight cubes for his class. He has only four cubes. How many more does he need? Let's have the given numbers, eight and four. Good job. And the question? Yes. How many more does he need? And the keyword. Good job. Or let's say keywords. How many more? tells you you have to do subtraction. In this practice number two, I've used circles. These circles represent my cubes. So guys, you can always draw, maybe you can use like uh, stars or rectangles, squares, or even, you know, like lines to represent your given numbers. So I've got eight circles here and I'm taking away four. You can either cross it out or put a slash on it. So I put a slash, one, two, three, and four. How many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four is my answer. Good job. Let's write down the subtraction sentence. Eight minus four equals four. And label the answer, please. Four cubes. And let's write down vertically. Eight minus four equals four and label it four cubes good job guys now before I forget let me just give you another tip okay? so you can work on your word problems way faster guys you should memorize facts so that means if you see eight minus four Definitely, you can answer that and say, oh, equals four. So that means you have already kept it here in your mind. You have memorized it. In that way, you will be able to work faster. And make sure, guys, that you always practice subtraction and addition every single day. That would be all, guys. And thank you for watching. Thank you for solving those word problems that involve subtraction with me. I can't wait to see your videos, your pictures, and your worksheets that you have done alone. Thank you very much. And then don't forget, those who are new to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below. Bye!